This year's ITB partner country wants to make a good impression. Botswana is combating poaching, for instance, by relocating rhinoceroses to remote areas. And it's offering sustainable safaris to visitors. This year, many other countries and tour operators have rallied behind the UN to make 2017 what it's called the Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development. I think it was important because it comes as a crowning and acknowledgement from the international community that tourism is one of probably one of the most important forces in the world today. Tourism was not taken seriously for a long period of time. It was always seen as a very much of a relaxed activity and a secondary activity. Today, tourism is employing thousands and millions of people all over the world, changing people's lives. The World Wildlife Fund is glad to see the creation of jobs in tourism, but warns about the effects. Mass tourism destroys nature and the environment. Coastlines get destroyed and mangroves get cut down for hotels. Now we're hearing about cruise ships leaving behind huge amounts of waste and emitting pollution. We have to work together against these important factors. Cruise ship operators have to be convinced to do more for the environment, not only when the ships are at sea, but also in the places they visit. But they say that's not so easy. We can filter our exhaust emissions on board, we're in charge there. But when we offload waste in ports, we're dependent on good infrastructure and good processing, so that the recycling we do on board is continued sensibly, materially or thermally. And that's a huge challenge. Besides that, taking a Caribbean cruise also involves flying to get to the departure point. And the ships themselves are still driven by heavy marine diesel oil, with correspondingly filthy emissions. But at least sailing ships, which cruise from port to port, are also gaining in popularity. Even consumers who haven't thought much about environmentally friendly vacations can find inspiration at this year's ITB, so their upcoming journeys are more sustainable.